Hi there, my name is Graham Codrington and together with my colleague Keith Coates we're going to be running a workshop for you in a few days time. It's about leading and managing a virtual team. Obviously right now we are in the middle of one of the greatest experiments in the history of humankind, the experiment of working from home. Well in fact, to be honest, it's not so much working from home, it's about trying to deal with the crisis from home. And, and that's a very different setup to working from home. Working from home, if you do it properly and you do it in an organized and structured way, is a remarkable thing. Uh, Keith and myself and the rest of our colleagues from our company Tomorrow Today have been doing it for nearly 20 years. That's right, we've worked from home for two decades. We've never paid a cent in rental anywhere in the world. We've had over a hundred people work for us uh, in multiple countries all around the world and we've done it all from homes and coffee shops uh, and third place meeting areas. So we kind of have experience in this and we love it. Uh, we don't see it as a downside, in fact it's one of the features of our organization. But right now there are a lot of people who haven't worked from home. Uh, people who maybe have never had the opportunity, maybe people in organizations that have actually said you're not allowed to work from home and of course now with the COVID disruption we don't have a choice. We are being forced to work from home and it's a huge experiment. For some people it's working reasonably well, for other people uh, it's tough at the moment. It is trying to survive a crisis stuck at home. We think though that there are going to be a lot of people who develop a real liking for working from home during this crisis. Maybe when it's all over uh, in a few months or years time, people won't go back to the office. Uh, or people will realize at least that maybe if they don't like working from home, at least they don't have to work from the office. We think the revolution that will come in the next few years is the work from anywhere revolution. And that's really what we want to talk to you about. N not, not saying that you have to work from anywhere forever, but saying that we can't just think about dealing with remote teams, dealing with virtual teams, is something that is only for the crisis. If it was just a crisis thing that we needed to get through, if this COVID-19 disruption was just for a few weeks and you could power your way through it uh, and then out the other side in a few weeks time you could just go back to normal, well we could just grit our teeth and get through it. I think most of you are beginning to realize what, what we are seeing and that is that this disruption period is going to last for quite a while. Lockdown might not last for forever. Uh, for the next few weeks and months we'll be in some level of lockdown and then maybe all of the restrictions will be lifted from a government perspective. Different countries in different parts of the world are going to do this at, at, at different speeds but ultimately by the end of 2020 most of us will probably be out of a full lockdown situation. But we are still going to be in disruption. Until we get a vaccine, until there's a cure for COVID-19, or until everybody in the world has had it, we are going to have to keep wearing masks in public, keep sanitizing, being careful of who we meet with. More importantly, we have to keep that two meter physical distancing, do access control, not have too many people in one room for too long at a time, be careful of air conditioning uh, in office spaces. In other words, we're not going to go back to life as we know it, life as normal, for probably 18 months or more. Certainly the rest of 2020 and probably most of 2021 will be disrupted. And if that's the length of the disruption, if we're going to be disrupted for that length of time, where quite a significant number of people are going to work from home, or at least not come back to the office in, in the way that we knew it before, if our children are not going to be able to go to school, if we are not going to be able to go to the shops or, or to other offices, if our factories are going to be limited in the number of people who can work in them at any time, and if that's going to last for probably 18 months or more, we're going to get used to it. It's going to become normalized. And when COVID is just history, uh, however long that takes, two or three years time, we might never 
go back to the office place as we knew it. And that's why this issue of remote teams, working from anywhere, engaging with our teams when we are not in the same space, that's why these issues are important. Not just to get through a crisis, but because this is going to change forever. And we need to get used to this, we need to make the most of this, we need to make sure that we engage and encourage and give resources to our teams that are appropriate for this new world that we're in. So the workshop that we're going to go through is going to look at two key aspects. The first is the practical side of each person who's working from home taking the experience that we've had in our team on how to do a good job of really enjoying and being productive as you work from home or work from anywhere. Uh, we're going to show you some of the practical things that you need to do. What is the equipment that you need? What is the setup that you need? What are some of the rituals and routines that might be useful uh, for you to really get the most uh, out of working from anywhere? More importantly though, is the second part of the workshop, and that is to look at management and leadership tools and techniques. You've already discovered this, I'm sure, but leading and managing a group of people that are not in the same physical space is different. Some of the old leadership and management techniques that you used are not working. You don't know if your, your team are working. You don't know what hours they're keeping. Um, you, you can't look over them and supervise them uh, in ways that you did before. Maybe you're frustrated uh, at some of their productivity and their proactivity. Uh, and maybe you're struggling to engage and communicate with your team. These are all issues that we've seen before. And we want to help you to implement a leadership and a management approach which will really make the most of working in a virtual environment. The good news is, even if in a few months' time you can go back to the office, the leadership and management approaches we're going to share with you are going to actually improve your team dynamics even if you are in an office. Uh, as, as we bring a new model and a new way of thinking about leadership that we think is more appropriate for the 21st century anyway. So this is more than just a work from home workshop. This is about moving you into the 21st century, into the digital world, into the digital age. Yes, COVID is an excuse to do this, but it's probably something we should have been doing anyway. And our team at Tomorrow Today, Keith Coates and myself in particular, are looking forward to spending time with you in a few days' time as we think through what it means to lead and manage a virtual workforce. What we'd like you to do in preparing for our workshop is two things for us. The first is we'd like you to think about what are some of your real frustrations. Now, this is probably easy for you to think about all the things you're frustrated by. But we'd like you to go just beyond the surface level, which is your frustration. What frustrates you? And we want you to think about why is it frustrating for you? What is the cause of your frustration? So, for example, if, if you're frustrated that you can't have team meetings, that, that your meetings are not working properly uh, in a Zoom or a Microsoft Teams or a, a Cisco WebEx environment, why? What, what is the frustration really for you? Is it just a technology frustration? Is it a control issue? Is it an accountability issue? Is it a productivity issue? Uh, what is the real cause? If, if you can, that it'd be good for you to just think about what's causing my frustration, not just what is my frustration. And then the second thing we'd like you to think about is what are you enjoying about the virtual environment? Now, you might say, and your immediate response might be, nothing. I don't like this at all. But I'd like you to just push beyond that immediate response and think, are there some things you are enjoying? Please, at least, you must be enjoying not getting stuck in rush hour traffic, right? I don't know of anybody in the world who loves rush hour traffic. So at least you can put that on your list of not being stuck in some kind of commute to and from the office any day. But maybe there's more than that. And maybe you can think of one or two things that you are really enjoying about this new virtual and remote workforce environment. So, 
Keith and I are looking forward to spending some time with you in a few days time. Think about uh, some of these issues, think about what it's really going to take. If this is a longer term thing than maybe you're anticipating, how can we get the most out of working in a remote and virtual environment? We look forward to spending some time with you. We'll see you there.